Hi guys, welcome to another episode of the Road to Glory Wager Showdown series. This is the final push now. The uh, next couple of episodes will be the final push to get this team complete. And hopefully you will enjoy it. So we're going to start off the first game today for a rock solid centre back. No we're not, we're going to start it for a rock solid striker, sorry. And it is going to be Delfonso. We did lose him in the last episode, I do believe. So we're going to go and try and get him back against this team with all the uh, transferred players from from AC to PSG with Ibrahimovic and Silva. So this team is starting to look and take shape now. And I've also decided that because where I come from was basically squad builders, I did a lot of squad builders, hybrids and whatnot. Uh, with these teams and players, I am managing to get either the non-rare silver, rare silver, etc. I'll be doing a like, special edition at squad builders to uh, represent, really. Represent and hope you enjoy them. So, yet again, in this episode, there will be a lot of goals, a lot of sweat, and a lot of perspiration around my left testy. But it's going to be fun. You're going to enjoy it. And we're going to get some players on the board. So thankfully, we do manage to get Delph in the first game with an absolute thumper from Sessegnon there, making it 4-3, and then a nice, well, I would say it was a own goal technically, but we do take the game 5-4, um, bit strange, bit strange, but we do take the lead and the win. And we put Delfonso back in the team, therefore losing player of the uh, series so far, Ebanks Blake. He's resorted back down to the bench. So there we are, the team is looking mildly fine, if I do not say so myself. With uh, a few rares, a few golds and a second in form at Ben Arthur. So have you guys got any suggestions on how we can make it better? I have also, going to try and aim and start this at the start of FIFA as well somehow. So our second game we are going for another upgrade on one of our centre backs and we're going to aim and, and get David Luis, the OP, most OP centre back on the game, no doubt about it. Um, and he's only worth 5k really and for what he does he's a lot better than Vidic, well a lot better than most strikers on the game for the price his speed and he's just a rash, a rash all over here. So, uh, yet again, we are 1-0 down uh, straight away. But we do manage to tramp it here to uh, equalise. And somehow, I think this was a nice shot by original. It was, it was a deflection as well. So now, FC Giving is only round the corner, guys. It's less than three weeks away. It is a 48-hour live stream, which I will be doing. All in the aid of charity. So we'll be doing a bit of uh, wages, clubs, you name it, we'll be doing it. Apart from naked webcam stuff. So hopefully you will all pop over and show your support to the chosen charity. Which we haven't chosen yet, anyhow. So luckily in this game, we do manage to take around the 90th minute goal from Delfonso to secure David Luiz into the team. Looking good. So I do apologise for everyone's name. I am I'm not remembering most of it, even though most of you do remember the footage from the game and the scores and stuff. You can comment in the section below and let me know how much you enjoyed me taking the players off you. Or how much you enjoyed me giving money to you, which seems to be an ongoing pattern recently. Not a good look at all. So moving on into the third of the fourth game. And we are going for big old Stevie G. Just a normal card this time round. And we come up against this silver BPL team. Looking rather nice. Um, a lot similar to my team when we first went up for the upgrades. So straight away he gets a nice little shot away with Ngog. And we are going for the tramp technically I don't know how the hell 
this goes in but we're not going to complain our lady luck is on our side now this goal game is a high scoring game as per usual and you will notice that we do tramp a lot as well so have you guys played with any of the players in the series so far and who would you rate to be the best now I absolutely love Ebanks Blake I don't mind Del Fonzo as well even though he is just seen as a pace abusing striker he has got brilliant dribbling and a brilliant shot on him as well and Lou Kaku he is easily one of the stars of the show and Barini on his day as well Barini's definitely been the free kick taker of the series so far on the 90th minute we do let Victor Moses dribble through to take it to extra time but thankfully we are going to take the win <coughs> with some nice dribbling and passing from the strike force but yet again we do let him see day as well by uh, by letting him take him to extra time anyhow but we do manage to dominate him in there making it 6-3 over uh, the remaining minutes and a nice little Maradona spin to slot in the net to get Stevie G into the team and we are making this into a gold rush again this episode with three golds uh, sorry with uh, going for three golds but we've already acquired one silver so there we are there's only three silvers remaining in the team now and for the next game we are going to aim to replace the last of the silver strikers and finally get an all gold silver strike for all gold you know, all gold strike force up there so we're going to go for Danny Welbeck he has been a cursed player so far he has not been in the team you've seen that picture more than enough so hopefully this game we can turn it around and get him in the team to pace abuse with Lukaku. So we come up against a decent hybrid team, uh, a lot similar to my hybrid team, hybrid Tipazu team, as you've seen in the previous video. But we had a bit of nice play, unfortunately it took the lead there with Ben Arthur. But as per usual we let everyone back in and we cannot stop headers, just crossing, header in. It's a weak point, I just can't seem to do it. Just cannot defend against them. So no matter who the player is we're going for, whether it be 1k, 15k, 35k, etc, etc, we go sweaty, no matter the value. And luckily, he takes the lead there with Mangala. Sorry, take, make equalises. But there we are, the final goal of today's episode with Lukaku to secure Danny Welbeck as his strike partner for the next episode. So we take the game 3-2. We have won four games out of four, which has been a long time coming. And we have took four players as well. So to this episode we have acquired an upgrade on Ebanks Blake to Delfonso and then an upgrade on Welbeck. So there's Welbeck sat in the team there. And we also have an upgrade on Louise Gerard in the team as well. So if you like the episode guys, give it a like, subscribe if you're not, and I'll see you again next time. Good night.